Guys, look at this amazing machine that I just found too. There's a lot of cars that I've been spotting recently, but you know, whenever I get a chance, I'll obviously show you. But cool, sweet, amazing W126 Benz. What a beauty. Makes me happy seeing all these amazing machines. Even this Honda that deserves love. Amazing cars. Nice cars. Beauty, an amazing machine, amazing truck. Two of them. Cell 500, a beauty, amazing. Lots of really cool, amazing old school cars, guys. I mean, I won't be able to show you all of them, but there's so many here in Nevada. It's amazing. Wow, look at all these cool trucks right here too. Nice, amazing. Oh, oh I see BMW E39, legendary five series. There she is right there. Caddy, nice. Man, look at that car right there, cutie. Classic, oh my gosh, so nice. I gotta go back and uh, leave the notes on some of those cars, definitely on the Benzes and maybe BMWs. We'll see, but yeah guys, don't forget to save and love your amazing old school machines because they don't make them like they used to. Look at this old school Jeep. Yeah. Porsche. Look at that Porsche. It's gotta be like 2005 or something. Nice. Man. Nice car. Wow. Sweetie. Lovely machine. So there's the machine. I'm gonna try to leave a note and find out. Maybe I can find out some info about this car. All right, guys, so I ended up leaving the note actually on there, on the, right there. So yeah, hopefully they respond back to me about that Benz. All right, guys, so this is another day actually. And what's interesting is that yesterday I went to that place and I saw the baby Benz. I didn't come closer to look at the car. I just left a note. And what's, just, what's interesting is that I left that note on, uh, on that Honda that they had parked in the driveway. And it seemed to be like their daily driver. So I just left that note that I showed you uh, under their uh, windshield wiper. And then literally like about five hours later, they uh, tried calling me, but I wasn't able to pick up the phone. But then they left a you know, text message and they said that, hey, you know, they just want to like, uh, unfortunately, but they just want to, you know, get rid of the car. They have the title keys and all that stuff. And, you know, come take a look at it. And uh, yeah, so today me and my friend, we're actually going to look at the car um, and hopefully you know i really want to save that car so hopefully we're going to pick it up and all that and you know if everything works out you know with my friend and all that too so uh it's pretty exciting you know i can't wait to look at the car and i don't even know if this is literally that the only thing that the lady told me is that it's her partner's car and he's just they're just really tired they don't have the energy anymore to work on it whatever it needs like two uh window regulators or motors she said uh, it needs an oil pan gasket, something like that. But I don't even know if it's a stick shift or automatic. Doesn't matter. Uh, they all deserve to live and to be saved. So we're gonna go take a look at it this evening. Let's look at it. You give her a taxi or whatever. Yep. Okay. Okay. So this must be like 86, 86 and up. Clean up really nicely, actually. Stuff on that clear coat after you spray it. Yeah. It's okay. It's normal, you know. Especially in, especially in this state, it's normal, you know. Clear coat. Just gotta get some uh, sandpaper to this. For 10 years? Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, In the same spot, huh? No, it's got or moved. Or it's just kind of, it got moved? Uh -huh. um, she has the window motors in in the trunk, I believe. Okay. 
And she actually, I think she says she has a gasket for the oil pan. Okay. But I mean... So the, do you know if like the oil pan is just like kind of like seeping? There's like a bunch of oil. Just That's like... a question for you. Oh, hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Um... Uh, Vito, nice to meet you. Candy, nice yeah, to meet yeah, you. Yeah. Uh, so I heard you had this uh, amazing machine for a long time, right? Nope. <laughs> I have. Okay, okay. And uh, so do you know, like, um, he said that it needs uh, like the oil pan gasket yep. or something. Do you know if it's like leaking bad or like what's going on? Well, with when it, it was or? parked, it was uh -huh. quite a puddle under there. Oh, quite a puddle. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. And um, but it's like you, you already know that it's coming from there, or is it? Uh, Remember by chance uh, when you had it running last time? Um, quite a while ago. Uh -huh. Wow, it's been a minute, huh? <laughs> From this, you mean? Yeah, well, it's it's uh -huh. Do you know why? Actually, why is this one off? One, two, three. There should be another spark plug wire here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay. Okay, yeah. No coolant. Right. Interesting, interesting. Hmm. Hose is in decent shape. Oh, it's the AC hose. Well, brake fluid definitely will have to be changed, you know. Yeah. Another tire, yeah, spare. Antenna's still there, it just needs a grommet. Yeah. It's not bad, I mean, I'm sure we can get it running and all that. <laughs> wow, undercoating coming off. That's cool. Okay. Poor combo switch. <laughs> combo switch got beat on. Nah, it's just from sitting, just oh. a little stiff. On that, you just gotta... there you go. It's not bad. It's not bad. At all. No. Okay. Let me roll one. That's still in good shape. Though. Yeah. I mean, the tires clean up. So here's the thing. We are picking up this car. We're going to pick up this car. What are you? Uh, actually talked to the you know owner of this car it's pretty awesome that they own this car since like 2007 i believe but it's been sitting for the last 10 years or so uh but we, we want to save this car and we're going to save this car so one of these days you know either myself or like me and dalton together we're gonna go and pick up this car it's gonna be a lot of fun and i'm excited to bring this car back on the road it needs a lot of work but we need to save this amazing machine a few moments later all right guys so here's the quick story unfortunately i wasn't able to go there that day but my friend my uncle uh Dachka dalton he actually went there to pick up uh this mercedes 190e and he had a trailer and all that so uh you know and to me it sounds like it's crazy because you know the the tires are were flat and all that but you know they still managed to get everything on the trail and his neighbor was there to help him out and all that so everything went fine we actually brought the car to a new place to his friend's place for right now uh, so tomorrow we're actually gonna go and work on this car so we're planning to do a lot of stuff cleaning 
a lot of cleanup and maybe we can get it running we'll see but yeah there's gonna be some lots of plants actually uh, so stay tuned look at that amazing amazing machina right here wow that's cool look at that amazing little car there she is let the journey begin <laughs> that's cool well there it is and like i said guys this uh, car was parked about 10 years ago owned by previous owners since 2007 and the reason why it was parked as they say it was uh, it had a oil leak from the they're saying pan gasket but we don't know yet and window motors broke or something like that so yeah it's gonna be time to for us to do a lot of work to this car i don't even know where to start from we gotta start from somewhere there's a bunch of parts that we got for it already and still waiting on the way uh, we got tires for it so yeah we gotta get to it